Hello, my dear hobbits. Welcome to another episode of our quest to find the best chocolate bar in the world. Today's episode, we're doing Dairy Milk by Cadbury. Wow, that was really good. You're better at me than I could ever be. I don't know how you can do this no. hobbit stuff regularly <laughs> and not hate yourself. Oh, man. It comes this naturally. Is... Yeah. Everybody out there is a hobbit. Can't you see? No? Okay. So let's go to the chocolate. So this is... Dairy Milk by Cadbury from UK and if we look at the map they've recently been dethroned they were leading yeah. for quite a time with like yeah with a score of 8.0 and then Double Nougat took over uh, a couple of episodes ago but I think uh, UK is back you they want their so? throne back they want their throne back yeah well we shall see about this I think it's fair to give them the chance they had the throne for so long Right, right, right. Right, they deserve another shot. Mm -hmm. So, this was recommended to us by our good friend and co-worker, Owen. Owen McCarthy. And if you know Owen, you know he's full of crazy stories that <laughs> sometimes may be hard to believe. So, maybe we'll just mention a couple. First one is, he saw 13 episodes of Reclinery in a row. <laughs> that is two Come hours. On. Come on. I know they were almost as good as Game of Thrones. But two hours of our faces? That's stamina. That's that's crazy. I mean, my mom can probably tolerate my face the most, but even she's like, after our episode, like, yeah, that was kind of two minutes too long, maybe. Keep it shorter. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I'll watch you guys for two hours. Yeah. Story number two. He said one of these every Wednesday since 1964. I just want to clarify that he was born in 1969. <laughs> And I kind of still believe this second story more than the first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that's Owen for you. So thanks, Owen. Thank you. So this chocolate is just a plain milk chocolate. We're kind of continuing that from the last episode where we had uh, Carl Fazer's milk chocolate. Very simple formula, very few ingredients. And there's something noble about a chocolate like this, you know, enter your competition, right? With just no tricks. Right? Yeah, yeah. Just, just a kind of pure. It's kind of like a knight yeah. in medieval ages coming mm -hmm. with just a regular sh shield and a sword and just fighting it out. And you have to be really good yeah. to win that way, right? And it is about the chocolate after all, isn't it? Yeah. So, your expectations from this, bad boy? Um, I think this will be good. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is chocolate, right? And, <laughs> and chocolate is good by, by definition. Mm -hmm. That is, if it is good chocolate. <laughs> Okay, maybe this is not going yet. And Owen watched two hours of this, just for the record. <laughs> uh, but no, this wrapper is, uh, I like it. It's nice. It's a nice wrapper. It's kind of like a, it's got a, like a bit of a seductive thing going, you know, like a yeah. silk sheet color, kind of. And also looks like a bit of magic there, kind of like a Harry Potter, you know. Pot? Is that a goblet? Yeah, or goblet, a some sort of thing, you know. It's a, a Harry chocolate. Potter's chocolate. Yeah. Nice. So pretty high expectations here. Yeah. Are you already started? Nope, no. I'm not. Okay, let's do a proper competition. Okay. I will destroy you this time around. I'm okay. losing 4-0. Good. Good luck. And Oh, you're so confident now, right. aren't you? I'll give you a head start. I get the head start because I'm... All right, yeah, of course. Okay, let's go. Let's go. And Maybe you know I what? should do this with my eyes closed. I think that'll be Ooh. more fair. Oh, shit. Fine. This is another... This is a tough one. I don't want to ruin the chocolate bar, and I don't want to... I don't care Wait, about the, the chocolate bar. The, the wrapper. Oh. Oh yeah, <laughs> I got it. You're done. Oh, I don't think so. Done. No Again. Rip. No rips. No rips. Oh, what is this? Oh. Oh. That was a last minute. Yeah. Oh. Well, you know what? That's the back. That's. It doesn't matter. Yeah, rips. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. It's a tie. Okay. This is a tough chocolate. This is a pretty chocolate. Ooh, squares. No, not there's no squares. It's hard. Roundies. Yeah, it's a pretty hard chocolate. Mmm. Smells very milky. It lives up to its name. Yeah. Yeah. This is uh, this is nicely looking. Yeah. Nice, of... nice color, right? It's very light brown, which means yeah. milky, milky sweetness. All right. It's like curvy, kind of almost like. This whole chocolate bar is seductive. Curvy, yeah, feminine, wrappers. Maybe feminine a little bit. Yeah. No. Why don't you go first and take the first bite? Just 
Take a bite. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It is good. I feel like Jerry Seinfeld would struggle to describe this. Making a milk chocolate interesting. <laughs> it's milk and chocolate. I don't know what you want me to say. You know, I think it mm. reminds me of like. Mm hmm. You're right. So we'll take a short break and we'll be back with a scores. All right. <laughs> back so first of all you want to tell uh, everyone where you're sitting on this side and i'm sitting on this side <laughs> because i broke my tooth and uh yeah it's it, it is not a pretty sight so, yeah. so are you this kind of hides it away were you eating like a score or a dime or what happened uh no it was a really crispy piece of bacon <laughs> that's it i'm done with bacon that's it. So, what what did you think of this dairy milk product? Well, this was probably the hardest deliberation for me so far. And just by looking at you, <laughs> looking at you, your held your hand over your head, you know, just <laughs> struggling with this one. It, it was, was a tricky tough. one because there is nothing wrong with the chocolate. It is a very good uh, milk chocolate bar, mm -hmm. but it's also very plain, right? So That's I base true. my score off of Carl Fazer. I like this a little better because. Kind of like the texture better. It's still hard, but it does melt, I think, quicker. And it has a bit of a flake thing going, like that nice flake flavor. It's not as good as flake, but it's it's almost there. So I'm going to give this a seven and a half. Seven and a half. Yeah. That's a good score. Yeah. That's a good score. I, I think for a plain milk chocolate, I don't think it's ever going to go higher than eight. I just, I just, well, it's kind of like anything in life. Like the plain version is... You know, it's kind of you get the best materials, you yeah, yeah. you know, you get the best kind of like pristine you can, yeah. but you got to put a bit of spice on it, right? So you're saying chocolate's not enough. It will never be enough for you. No, there's got to be more okay. to chocolate than chocolate. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Well, you have your needs, right? Yeah. I, I respect that. Um, I agree with you for the most part. Mm -hmm. um, naturally, I was also comparing this to uh, Carl Fazer and... Um, and I did like it a little bit better also than Carl Fazer. Okay. Uh, I liked it more than Flake. You like it more than Flake? Yes. Really? That's right. But Flake's got this, like the crumble and melts better and it flavors I, better? I don't know if the no. flavor is better. No? This seemed you lost your love for Flake. <laughs> Maybe I just had too many Flakes at okay. this point. Yeah. So for me, this would be an 8, uh. which is the same score I gave Carl Fazer. But I felt like maybe I overrated Carl Fazer. Mm -hmm. You did seem regretful <laughs> after yeah. the episode. It, it's it's a hard thing to admit, but yeah. No, I, yeah, no, yeah. I'm sure I've messed up some scores too. Yeah. And also, this brings us to the final score. Uh, what seven? Would you give it eight? Eight. Eight. Seven and a half. Seven point seventy-five. You know, that's pretty good. That's a very good score. Yeah, there, it's not. You know, they're not. UK is not matching their score. You know. No, no. Flake is still their best chocolate, but it's pretty good. And that being said, UK, you know, let us know in the comments what your best chocolate bar is. What should we try next? Also, let us know which uh, dairy milk chocolate we should try next, because there is there are many many variations, and uh, you know, let us know which one's the best. That's it for another episode of our quest to find the best chocolate bar in the world. If you like what you saw, if you'd like to follow our journey, you know, see which chocolate is gonna win it at the end. You know, subscribe to our channel. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments. And until next time, I'm Zoran. I'm Peter. And you've been watching The Reclinery. What? Nothing. <laughs>